What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use our Varsity Jacket template mockups. You can get these on our website for 15 bucks, as you can see here, 1580 rather. Um, and I'm also gonna be using this slightly in conjunction with our free Patchmaker PSD. Um, so if you wanna download this for free as well, it'll help you out. You also don't need it because there is a layer style included, uh, but I just wanted to make this suggestion so you guys were aware. Um, but when you download this, you get six PSD files, um, in, which are these six views here. You can see three front views and three back views, uh, the front and then two angled views, and then the back and two angled views as well. Um, and this uh, mockup comes with an avatar dummy kind of in the background. So, so if we go to Photoshop, you can see right here is the mockup. This is the front view, obviously. I'm gonna hide the guide with Command H. And you can see the dummy avatar at the top we can hide uh, to make it visible or not visible. But I'm gonna show you how to use this real fast. The main layers here you ought to know about are, obviously I showed you the avatar. We have the lighting, we have the smart objects in the designs, and then the colors, obviously. Um, one thing that I wanna point out that I think a lot of people miss on our templates is if you go to the lighting, you actually have some customization here. So you can see we have a separate button lighting. If you hide that, you can see the buttons go to more of a matte and uh, with it, it's more of like a metal kind of chrome look. And you have levels on both the shadows and the highlights. So if you were to hide both of these levels, you can see there's a little bit less contrast. And depending on the colors you're working with, that might look better or worse. And then if you bring it up, there's a little more contrast. And then you can, of course, open those levels and adjust them to work even better for whatever your design is. I definitely recommend doing that after you set up your colors, uh, maybe even after the colors and design, up to you. But I just want you guys to know that that customization is there. Uh, if you do modify that, um, the lighting specifically, be sure to save a copy of the file so you always have an original that you can reference and go back to. But let's go ahead and create a new varsity jacket and I'm just going to go ahead and create one that's, let's say, red and black. So I'm going to hide my designs here, and I have some colors in my library here that I'm just going to use to make it easy. Uh, I definitely recommend selecting your color. Um, so if I use this right here, add it to your swatches so it adds to your library. And then uh, if you don't have your library over to the side, you can go to Window, Libraries, and then you can kind of drag this tab around, and I put it on the right side of my screen. Although if you have less space, you might want to put it on the top of your layers, wherever. But definitely add whatever colors you're going to use to this libraries because it just makes it easier to change the colors instead of double clicking and then like selecting it or pasting it or selecting it over here. Uh, you just have to come over and click and it's much easier. So I'm going to make all these front parts red, um, which is this is the Arizona Cardinals red for a design I was doing for them. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a bit of a pinkish hue. It's more of on it's more on the pink side of red, and partly uh, part of the reason why it's like that is because of the highlights. So you can see if I hide those, it's more of a true red, um, but that really kind of brings it out. So if I were to uncheck the levels or come into the highlights and bring them down a little bit, that would help with this red. Um, I'm not going to do that. Um, Right now though because like i said it's best to do that at the end but i just wanted to make you guys aware of that um the sleeves here we'll go ahead and make it black just so it's something other than white i suppose <clears throat> and then you can see we have a pockets layer which is for these pockets right here and it would make sense to keep those black but since they're already black i'm going to switch them to white just because the buttons uh we can see what white looks like white doesn't look great with the chrome effect i kind of like the black still um, or maybe we can go even actually let me select this copper color that's pretty cool let me darken it maybe a little bit let me zoom in on that that looks pretty good i'm actually going to come in and lower the button lighting just so the color stands out a little bit more that's pretty good <clears throat> and then kind of the not the complex part, but the interesting part is we have the five trim layers. So each one of these five trim parts has its own layer that you can customize. So you can have a very colorful trim to your varsity jacket if you wanted. I try to keep it uh, fairly symmetrical, like you see here with one and five being the same, four and two being the same, and then three is obviously in the middle. 
So the outside part here, we're going to go with white. And then the trim on the uh, inside, let's go, I think red would look best. And then the middle one black. I think that looks pretty good. Um, so, okay, I like this color scheme. I think that's pretty neat. I definitely actually do like the chrome buttons. That looks pretty, pretty awesome. So let's go back and we can actually do our lighting now. This is where I would probably recommend doing it um, with the colors because the design is not going to affect the color that much. It, we're just going to basically be adding logos. So if I come to the highlights, I'm going to uncheck the levels. And yeah, I think that's actually enough. The sleeves kind of, I don't like the sleeve effect. So if I, um, if I come into the sleeves here, I'm going to press command, click that, hold shift and command and click the left sleeve. And then with the highlights layer selected, I'm going to come down to the layer mask and click that. And now this layer is only affecting, um, the sleeves. And then I'm going to select both the levels and the highlights, press command J to duplicate. So now I'm going to have two of these. It might take a second to load, but I'm going to come to the second one here. And I'm going to press command I. So now it's the reverse. So now this is on all the other parts, but the sleeves. And what I'm going to do on that one is just lower it to maybe 60% opacity. And that's just the way I like to go about the lighting. So the sleeves are still 100% and then everything else is 60 and we could adjust that number later on. But I think that gives us the most realistic look with our colors. Now let's go into the design layers. I'm going to make those visible and you can see we have the template FC gr uh, grid all over this, which we're going to get rid of. So let's open up all of these layers. And I want to kind of visually see what I'm doing as I'm modifying these. So I'm going to hide the grid, which is called layer one on all these. So I'm just going to make it invisible. And then I'm going to press command S to save. And once you do that, it will update over here. So you can see this is the only one updated. Let's update all the others. Boom, there we go. And I want to zoom in on the jacket real quick and show you the logo. You can see this has a layer style on it to kind of have that realistic look. And the layer style is from the free patch maker that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So if we come in here, you can see this is the layer style. If I make this visible real quick so you can see it a little better, you can see that's kind of what it does. It gives it that 3D patch look. Um, it's not the greatest, but it gives the correct effect. So let's go ahead and just create a quick logo for a fake college or high school or something. So let me do a letter. Maybe we do F, I guess. And I'm going to double click that and change the font to something a little more interesting. So this is a pretty good one. This is the absolute empire font. I kind of think that's cool. Um, and let's take a look. So why I think a white logo or a black logo would look best. So let's do white and then you can do a few things. You can right click copy this layer style or you can just click the effects and drag it to this and then hide that logo. And you can see that layer style on our new newly added logo. I'm going to actually come in here and adjust the drop shadow to be like two. I think that's a little bit better. Um, and I'm going to duplicate this real quick with command J, right click clear layer style. I'm going to go to fill and set that to zero, double click, and I'm going to go to stroke and add a black stroke. And I'm going to put that on the center line, increase the size a little bit, click OK. And now I want the 3D effect on this as well. So I'm going to have to rasterize this layer style. And then I already have this layer style copied, so I'm going to right click paste. And again, I'm going to come in and adjust the shadow. This time, since it's a stroke, I'm going to just do a shadow of one. And I think that's our best looking logo. So let's save that and see what that looks like. There you go. That's pretty cool. I think I can actually increase the size of that. Save it. And yeah, cool. That's a varsity jacket. Now, a lot of jackets have something on the right side as well. So uh, again, maybe we just 
drag this F over. And then we can do um, some smaller text. So let me actually change the size of this to like 40 pixels or something. And then we'll do, I don't know, we, I chose the letter F, so maybe it's like the University of Florida Tech or something. Um, and then press Command T, we can decrease the size, kind of line it up in the center and uh, Command S to save it again. Let's see how that placement looks. Uh, we'll have to lower it a bit, make it a little smaller towards the right side, save it again. And there you go, some pretty easy text. Maybe we drag it down even further. And that kind of has that stitch look because it has the same patch effects. And I think it looks great. And then you finally have the option to add logos and things on the sleeves. And that basically works the same way. You can just drag and drop things and replace the current logo with it to get the final look. And I think it's pretty easy to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use this mock-up. Again, be sure to check out Template FC for any mock-ups or patterns that you might want to use designing sportswear, sports jerseys, all that stuff like that. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.